This is an NVIM CNC controller, readily available on AliExpress for around 50 to 90 US dollars. Uh, it's an Ethernet enabled uh, controller board designed for Mac 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this controller board to be used with Linux CNC by installing the open source firmware uh, Remora. Uh, so stay tuned as we pull this one apart and I'll firstly show you how to flash the firmware onto the controller board. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the controller board from the, from the controller itself. So the four screws unscrew to, uh, to remove the front the top cover. To, uh, to expose the, uh, the controller board underneath. So um, even though the cut the um, so even though the the cover says it's an NVM version two, it's actually a later the latest controller board, which is a NVM three. Uh, from what I understand, uh, the main difference really is around the uh, the zero to ten volt analog output for the uh, the spindle control. This uh, this version uses a a um, PWM to analog chip rather than using a charge pump. So here we can see the STM32 uh, microcontroller and all the isolation uh, componentry for the I/O and for the uh, the step generator, the um, step stepper outputs. The next step is to completely remove this from the case so that we can access the uh, the programming port on the controller board. So to remove the uh, the controller board, uh, we remove the four brass standoffs. So, and um, then on the back of the uh, the controller board here, we can actually see uh, the uh, the programming port which the factory used to uh, to flash the original firmware. This is uh, we're going to use to put the uh, the Remora firmware on onto the controller board. So to flash the firmware onto the uh, NVM controller board, we're going to use an ST-Link V2. Um, again, readily available uh, from numerous locations, AliExpress for around three dollars. Um, so we'll use that and uh, and a ribbon cable. Uh, temporarily, we'll solder this onto those uh, those programming ports I talked about earlier, and um, and we'll use an ST-Link utility to um, to flash the new firmware onto the controller board. So we've temporarily soldered on the ribbon cable to the, uh, the programming port on the back of the controller board. And then of course, for the ST-Link itself, um, as I said, there's not a direct correlation one-to-one -one for the, the wiring, but it's uh, quite close. So now that we've got this hooked up, we can now plug this in and um, We can now plug this and use the ST-Link utility to, um, to uh, flash the new firmware. The first step is to download the, uh, the firmware uh, from, from GitHub on the Remora NVIM page. If you go to, uh, to the release 1.0.0 tag and then uh, in the firmware directory you'll find the, uh, the pre-compiled binary file. Uh, of course the rest of the directory there is um, the full source code for, for the firmware. So download that to your um, to your computer, and then um, if you don't already have it, uh, download and install the ST-Link utility. And uh, so using the ST-Link utility, we can then, uh, once the, uh, the controller board is plugged into the ST-Link, we can connect it to the board, and here we see the, the original firmware that's um, currently in the controller board. So if you'd like to take a copy of that, you can do that uh, using this utility. Uh, but to flash the firmware, we are going to uh, to open that. Uh, we're going to load the, the binary file, and then we can simply write to the controller board. And there we go. That program success. So, uh, so the NVM CNC controller board is now has the uh, Remora firmware on it, and it's ready for uh, for Linux CNC. I use a Raspberry Pi 4 as my Linux CNC computer, so it's got a VNC session into the Raspberry Pi. 
What we need to do is set a static IP address for the um, Ethernet Zero adapter on the uh, on the computer. So we do that um, in the DHCP CD configuration file. So um, so in uh, in this configuration file, we want to set a static IP address. So we're going to set the IP address of interface Ethernet 0 to an IP address of 10.10.10.2. This is all we need to add to the uh, DHCP CD configuration file. So we can exit and save that. And then uh, reboot. Okay, so the computer's rebooted and we'll just um, we now check uh, to see if we've got a, um, a network configuration. So, you know, at the moment, the network cable is not connected. Okay, so as the, uh, the network cable isn't connected, there's no IP address for Ethernet 0. So I'm just going to plug the um, Ethernet cable in and run that command again. So now we can see that we have a static IP address of 10.10.10.2 on our Ethernet 0 and we've still got our wireless LAN connection uh, to the rest of our network. So now we can test our connection to the um, NVEM uh, CNC controller. We can just ping the controller board at the firmware's static IP address of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And here we can see that we've got packets uh, being replied back from the controller board. So, uh, so we've got a, a good configuration and uh, we can now move on to setting up Linux CNC to, uh, to use the NVEM controller board. So to allow Linux CNC to talk to the NVEM controller board, we need to install um, another component, and this component is especially written for Linux CNC to talk to the uh, Remora firmware. So also on GitHub, if we go to the, uh, the Remora firmware uh, repository, there is a Ethernet branch under Remora, um, which has the uh, Linux CNC component. So if we go into Linux CNC and then into Components, you'll see this Remora Ethernet component. And uh, these two files is the, uh, the software, the, the source code for the component. So we need to download these to, uh, to your Linux CNC machine. And then we're going to compile these into Linux CNC so that Linux CNC can use it. So here back on, uh, on the Raspberry Pi or your Linux CNC computer, that uh, you're running Linux CNC on. Uh, I've already downloaded to uh, this computer the, uh, the components, and here you'll see the Remora Ethernet component with those two files that I just shared on the, on the GitHub page. So we want it to, uh, to compile this and allow Linux CNC to run it. So uh, we do that using the help compile command. Super user use the help compile command to install the Remora Ethernet. There we go, so that's compiled the, um, the component and then copied it into the Linux CNC modules directory. So this now will allow Linux CNC to use the Remora component. So we have the Remora Ethernet component installed in the Linux CNC. Um, the next thing to do is to add a machine configuration to Linux CNC um, so we can actually use the controller board. So if we come back to the Remora repository and we come back in, same in this same features Ethernet um, branch, if we come back into Linux CNC and go into the configuration samples, I've added a Remora NVEM basic configuration. So, so the basic firmware for um, Remora NVEM has a three axis setup with no IO, and this uh, configuration will allow 
and to use the board uh, for testing uh, after the initial flashing of the firmware. So we need to download this configuration onto our Linux CNC computer, which I've done. And so under my Linux CNC directory, under configs, I've got the, uh, the Remora NVM basic configuration. So we can uh, launch Linux CNC. And here we can see that uh, the basic configuration, so I'll launch Linux CNC with that configuration. And we can tell if the component is working correctly as Linux CNC will come out of emergency stop. Yeah. If uh, it doesn't come out of emergency stop, then uh, the Ethernet configuration is not correct. Uh, so we can power them, power the uh, machine up and then of course then we can run the program on the controller board without uh, any hardware connected to the controller board. So this is a great, uh, just a really quick and easy way to test that Remora NVEM is configured correctly and then we can move on to more advanced configuration which I'll show in, uh, in future videos. Thanks for watching.